Damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy vs. Everybody Podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here! What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shaw. Shaw vs. A-Bike Podcast, episode 161. We got a motherfucking, you came from out of town, this motherfucker, basically, yeah. and shit, dog. We got uh, Jay Perk in the building. Perks or Perk? Yo, what's good, huh? Jay Perks? Perk. Perk. Oh, Perk. Jay Perk, yeah. Yo, we got yo, Jay yo. Perk in the building from Grand Rapids, Michigan, and shit, man. Rapper. I call you a rapper and a singer, dog. You just, yeah, you sure. an overall artist from the way I listen to your music, bro. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? But uh, what's good with you, bro? No, no, bro. I appreciate you for having me, bro. For sure, how you feel? Yeah, bro. Glad to be off that road for a quick man, second. You feel yeah. me? So I want, hey, y'all come on the show, man. I don't want to hear no excuses about being late. You can't make it. Dog came two and a half hours away. Sure. Y'all know a freeway is fucked up right now because they working on every motherfucking thing. <laughs> I'm, talking about, I'm talking about construction everywhere. Mm -hmm. And dog just made me feel like an old ass nigga too. <laughs> nigga said he was in middle school when I was a grown ass man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All that good shit, dog. But shit, man. Everything been smooth though. Everything's small, bro. Everything been busy. Yeah. Feel me? I'm just busy trying to get used to get used to this lifestyle. No, for sure. You got to. Hey, staying busy is the best way. Yeah, for sure. No, nah, but we start every show off with a uh, salute me while I'm here. A lot of times we wait for people to pass away before we can give them their flowers and shit, though. You know for what sure. I'm saying? Instead of giving them their flowers while you can still smell it. But it can't be a normal answer. It can't be your mom's, your pop's. I know you ain't got no kids. We talked about that shit. For sure. So it can't be your mom's, your pop's, or if you got a lady, it got to be somebody out of that easy answer. So... You got somebody you want to shoot some shoot some flowers to? For sure. Um, I say I want to shout out my grandma for sure. For sure. If it wasn't if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be in my the position I'm in now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For What's sure. up with grandma? She she raised you or whatever. You feel me? Like you feel me? She had to. It was it was times in my life where I had to. You know what I'm saying? Go through a lot of stuff and go through a lot of realizations. So yeah. my grandma being by my side, she helped me like. Stay firm, like as a man growing sure. up. Hell yeah, for sure. hell yeah. Grandma's still around too. Yeah, for sure. That's what's up. Hell yeah, man. Congrats to that shit. Cause man, that shit, like, hey, it's a blessing to have a grandma when you twenty one. My yeah. grandma passed when I was like my great grandma passed when I was like eighteen. Granddad eighteen. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's always a blessing, and they be making that good food. Mm -hmm. like, you can't never go wrong with that homemade macaroni and cheese. Hell, man, what? Hell Come yeah. Now let me ask you this: No disrespect to your grandma. But grandma also made the good mac and cheese. Got that little extra little meat under yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. For sure. When they got that, you already know. That shit about to be A1. You already know, bro. No, hell yeah. Why they stirring this, Flavin? You already know how it go, bro. See, my grandma had the little house coat, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that bitch getting down. You happy as hell? For sure. For sure. Shout out to grandma with the extra meat and the house coat, dog. Shout out to y'all. Hell yeah, dog. But no, dog. Man, it's 2022. 2023. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm tripping. I'm last year and shit. It's halfway. Man. We halfway through that month. June, dog. How your year been so far, bro? With this music, with life, like what's been going on with you? Man, bro, it's been it's been like an adjustment, bro. I've been, you feel me? I've been traveling a lot. Going, yeah. Going to like different cities and going to different states. Yeah. Or whatever, and it's been stressful. I ain't gonna lie. Like it's something to get used to. You know what I'm saying? Being from the city, I ain't never really traveled for real. For sure. Hell so, yeah. This the this like my. It's like the time of my life where I'm traveling. I'm really chasing my dreams. So, oh, for sure, hell yeah, for sure. Hell, we definitely gonna tap into all that shit. How you got to the music and shit, dog. But like, be, being from Grand Rapids, we from Detroit. It ain't far. It's around the corner, but it's still different. Yeah, for you sure. You feel me? I can tell in y'all lingo is different and shit like that, man. Like, sure. I know you say it's kind of like quiet, chill, laid back. Ain't too much to do for a young cat growing up. Yeah. So talk about like like Grand Rapids and like some good shit, some positive shit about it, man. Bro, I say, bro, Grand Rapids is a good place to raise a family, bro. I'm For just, sure. I'm going to keep it a being. Like, <laughs> Grand Rapids is a good place to raise a family, mm -hmm. but, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you young, bro. Yeah. It ain't really too much you can do for real. For sure. You feel me? You for like sure. limited. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But I but I love it though. Like, you feel me? Everybody know me. I know everybody, so. For sure. So it's it's hard to cheat then. It's very, <laughs> it's very hard. It's very hard. <laughs> Man, for sure. Oh <laughs> yeah, dog. Now when you say that shit, like, so you basically say like shit. If you ready to settle down, come to Grand Rapids. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but you got to choose the right female if that's the route you're going. For but, sure, for but, sure. But if you ready to settle down in life, for sure, come yeah. to Grand Rapids. For sure. <laughs> for sure. Now we thought we were talking about something before you had came on, dog. We were talking about fucking, like, and people like, yeah, who you had to talk to, dog, like. As a little nigga, I told these niggas my, my pops passed when I was thirteen. Yeah, for sure. So the only person I can go to and ask questions was my mom. Yeah. And I felt like 
that was the best person. She got what I'm trying to get. You right, feel me? Right, so she right, can right. give me right. the, the advice. So <laughs> who was giving uh, Jay Purse some game as far as the, uh, the lady, bro? Uh, I ain't gonna, if, if anybody. I ain't going to lie, bro. It was, it was my mom mainly. You feel me? Yeah. My dad, my dad, he, you know what I'm saying, gave me some game. But mm -hmm. you feel me? My mom was giving me the game about yeah. how, how they be, for sure. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Now, would you like asking questions? I'm asking questions. I'm asking details like, nigga, what to do, how to make the moves and shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was so embarrassed to ask like my uncle, like the OGs yeah, sure. and shit, because they like, man, get your little ass out here. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't hearing it. Yeah. So like, who, like, would you go into details? Ask or you just like, just like little random questions about uh, females. Bro, I was going. I ain't gonna lie. I was going into detail, but you know, yeah. like it depends on the type of relationship you got for with sure, your mom. You sure. feel <laughs> me? Like I was that kid. You feel me? Like my mom didn't think I knew as much as I did. Yeah. So I tried to. I tried to like you know what I'm saying ask her certain stuff. I hint to it. Yeah. But I ain't gonna lie, bro. Most of everything what I learned now, what I, what I know now, I learned about myself. For sure. Lie. Hell for yeah. Sure. Trial and error. And shit, <laughs> Trial and error. I had bro. a lot of errors in my time. Bro, I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> a lot of errors, nigga. That motherfucker dog. Man. Now my thing is like. All right, like we can get off the shit. I don't want to be asking a whole bunch of questions and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like messing, like your first time messing around, bro. Like, like how bad was it though? Because it was never good, nigga. It's always bad your first time. <sighs> how nervous was you, dog? I hope you wasn't no little young ass twelve year old, nigga. Bro, I was, like you feel me? Like <laughs> I knew what I was doing, bro. You feel me? But you know what I'm saying? It was some things. It was some, it was some things a nigga had to learn. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Some things a nigga had to be taught. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Now for sure. Now as a, I'm older than you, bro. It was funny. This nigga clown me, dog. First, first time I got some ass, I ain't even, I, I ate pussy before I got ass. Oh damn! <laughs> damn. Hold up. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I told myself. I told myself I'd never do it. I told myself I'd never do that. Oh shit! Cause all right, you say you want some game. <laughs> Tell you, bro. You know what I'm saying? That that prolonged things. It make uh, it make everything better. As a young nigga, I said same shit. Nah, nigga, hey, nigga, bring that bitch on the plate. Bro, bro, I feel like everybody, everybody that said that and lied to yeah. me, so. No, nah, man. Once you, once you get there, man, you, you get a little bit more seasoned to you, you'll sure. be like, damn, niggas on that podcast was telling the truth. For sure. You know what I'm saying? But don't, hey, 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 hey fellas, if y'all, you know what I'm saying, first time about to get some and shit, I hope y'all niggas old enough, don't do what I did and go straight to a fucking eating pussy and shit. Like, <laughs> I was that bitch, like, fuck, let me go ahead and try this shit. <laughs> this nigga told me it was good, fuck, I'm gonna try it, dog. <laughs> You, shit funny as hell, I got a question though. I got a question though. You ever, uh, you ever, you ever was told that that's how you get your, uh, oh, for sure. Hell bro, yeah, get your little beard. Shit. You, yeah. shit. Hey, this nigga got bald face. Like, what? You, you feel me? I got, you feel me, bro? Up? Hell yeah. No, they tell you that's how you get some little hair in your chest and your motherfucking mustache, beard game and shit. It took a while though for my shit to grow in though, dog. Some <laughs> niggas was lying and shit, dog. I would have beard at fucking 17. Nah, bro. <laughs> Shout out to everybody, dog. Make sure y'all motherfucking wrap it up and shit. No kids out here, cuz. For sure. And these little, these girls, nah, like. See, that's what motherfuckers in general, old, young, these motherfuckers carrying shit, dog. Yeah, for sure. Shit, pregnant, nigga. Fuck, you getting that motherfucker burner, nigga. That burner boy in that motherfucker, dog. You got to watch out who you fucking with. You got to watch out, bro. Hell yeah. But what's some shit that you went into 2022 or 20, 2023? Like, I want to do this with my career, with my life. Like, what's some shit that you want to go ahead and change up for the new year? Bro, like, I started taking myself way more serious than what I was taking myself before. Like, yeah. everything that was going on, bro, like. Mm. I had to like I had to like cut a lot of people off. I had to cut a lot of things off in my life, a lot of old habits. Yeah, you yeah. feel me? And I just I doubled down on myself and got really for real about what I really wanted to do. For sure. Was it a point that you just felt like nigga I gotta switch this shit up because I'm on bullshit? Yeah, bro. It got to the point where I'm just like, bro, I gotta stop slacking. I gotta I'm everybody looking up to me, you yeah, feel yeah, me? It yeah, come yeah. to a point where you just like you gotta make that transition or it's it's a wrap. No, for sure. You know what I'm saying? And shit, it's good that you recognize that shit early because if you were it, it, of course it's never too late or never you never too old to change things up. But it's always better if you go ahead and understand that shit as a youngin instead of being a grown nigga, old as fuck, trying to make moves because it's going to be harder. Right, exactly. Because everything you do is going to be a young man's world, you feel me? Exactly. If it's music, especially with this music shit. Exactly. Niggas ain't trying to listen to no 38-year-old rapper and shit like, nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? So, it's definitely you got to keep that shit moving because now niggas starting at 12, 13, 14 years old. Bro, niggas is young now, bro. On the production side and everything, you know what I'm saying? So, shit, man, I know you said you had to cut people off and a lot of your music, you, you know, you talk about things that you're going through, but... Who can you uh, chop it up with whenever, you know, saying life getting hard, shit getting stressful for you? You feel me? My man's behind the camera right here. Mm -hmm. You know, got to show my boy yeah. E out. You feel me? For sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? I got my select few. Yeah, 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 yeah. But do you like, because some niggas try to keep shit away from him. Like, I don't want to let him know everything. 
Like, you, did you open book or you just like, I'm going to, you know, say what I need to say and that's it? I ain't going to lie, bro. I'm kind of to the I'm, I'm kind of to the extent to where, you feel me? Like, a lot of people, I can say a lot of people don't really know, like, what really be going on. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm the type of person, like, I got to be strong for everybody. For sure. Me? Hell yeah. But shit, when you, when you, when you go on about life like that, can't that be a little stressful because you feel like, shit, I'm an end all be all. Like, yeah, for sure. It's all on me, you know what I'm saying? For sure. Yeah, bro. It's a lot of pressure. Hell yeah, dog. It's not for the week. Now shout out to uh shout out to dog man he made the drive with you so he a real one yeah but it's my man's right yeah here. cause shit nigga hit me up like cause we going to Detroit from Grand Rapids like shit let me know how that shit went cause <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying shit talk about that though like like homies in your circle like like how hard is it for you to realize that you got some real niggas in your corner and not just some niggas that just around just to go ahead and see like oh that nigga Jay about to blow up and shit yeah bro it's like you know what I'm saying like. Like, like, I got to take you way back to, you know what I'm saying, like, high school when I first, like, was going viral in my city and everybody first started knowing me. Yeah. Like, the transition to that, everybody then, everybody then changed up or switched up once our stuff really got serious, so yeah. it ain't really, it ain't, ain't really nobody left for real. For sure, hell yeah, hell yeah. You feel me? Now, like, shit, you, 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 you getting older now, you in your bed with this music, how can, how can you gain somebody, how can somebody, you gain somebody or somebody you feel you could trust to let in that's new? Mm, that's a good question. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, like, I ain't gonna lie. It might be a real one because like a lot of niggas be saying, "Nigga, you can't get new friends at early age, a young age. I mean, an older age." That's a lie. That's like, a lie, bro. It be some niggas that you just met last year is more realer than niggas you've been knowing for years. Bro, more realer than niggas you've been knowing your whole life. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So, I mean, it's hard now because it's just like you know, what I'm saying things is picking up and things is moving. And I'm really the only person in my city who got motion like that. Mm -hmm. So it, it's it's to the point where you gotta like weed out people who. Oh my gosh! Like the first thing they do is talk about what you're doing. You like nah? Yeah, for you know sure. What I'm saying? Like, so it's getting harder and harder. It's still, it's still not like a blurred line between it. You can still tell, but mm -hmm. I know it's coming to the point where you ain't really gonna be able to tell for real. For sure, know? hell yeah. And when I think about great rappers, though, the only thing I think about is I know Floyd from there. Yeah, for sure. That's it. That's it. But you know what I'm saying? Do do you like growing up? Did you know about like Floyd being from the city and shit like that? Yeah, for sure. Floyd is actually my um my uncle, my like my friend's uncle, my mom brother. Mm -hmm. His first cousin. Oh, straight up. Yeah, so he he like he like worked with Floyd, run his clubs and all that yeah. shit. Yeah. So uh, like my mom and my dad, they they all like they all know him. They grew up with him. You feel me? So, For sure. But my grandma used to babysit him. My life. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah so, that's what's yeah. up. But like and that got be dope to see somebody like I said, it's Grand Rapids. That's, you said it's a small a small city. Yeah. So see somebody like nigga that caliber, like one of the richest niggas. <laughs> Bro, one of the richest niggas in the world. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah! Shout out to Floyd, man. Come on the podcast, cause whenever you in Detroit. For <laughs> <laughs> sure. Now you know what I'm saying. What's some shit that you learned about yourself though? though? Like, like going into this year, like you you always learn something new about yourself, no matter how old you are, or how young you are. What's some shit that you learned about yourself that you ain't even like realize? Mm, I ain't gonna lie. Like one thing I learned about myself, bro, is I, I learned that I can push myself to like links that I never thought I could push myself to. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I learned that I can really, I can really, whatever you want to do, you can, whatever you want to do, you can do it as long as you put your mind to it. You feel For me? For sure. Nah, fast. For sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dog. Now, you said some shit, dog, on another podcast that I've been arguing with my brother about a lot, dog. He was like, basically, you said Drake is your goat. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying So me and my brother Argue all the time Now my thing is this bro Drake For sure When it comes to everything He can Nigga sing Nigga rap yeah. Get hoes Nigga all that shit Like he He that dude But the only, my only beef with him was I want him to make a, a Just an album Strictly like bars Like yeah, rap Yeah 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 Like cause we know You can make good music We know that Like mm -hmm. we know you can rap We know you can do all that shit But I just want I think for him to be solidified it's just make an all out mm, rap album. Just yeah. show niggas like I can spit, dog. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Talk to me about like yo, you know what I'm saying? Drake being one of your guys and shit. I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's like, you know what I'm saying? That's the that's the um you know what I'm saying, the like the era like I grew up in, like for sure. you know what I'm saying? That was the person like Drake was our Tupac. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like how that's a Jordan, fact. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? How in the 90s Jordan like Jordan yeah. was the LeBron of for sure. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. know what I'm saying? So like that's how like you know what I'm saying? Drake was. That's all I used to listen to is yeah. Drake when I was older. I used to sing in my room. You hell yeah, yeah, yeah. They could be singing. Like, he, he, he getting his bag. Yeah, you be, for you, sure. Uh, now tell me this, though. I know it's been a time you be on the phone with a chick and you just you singing to her and shit, cuz. Oh, I ain't gonna <laughs> lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't did that since I was young. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did work. Yeah, right. <laughs> hell yeah. 
<laughs> now, did you specifically make, ever make a song for a, a young lady? Like, all right, man, this shit is for motherfucking Kimberly and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. Uh, shit. I ain't gonna lie. I got a lot of songs for for, for people. For sure. <laughs> a lot of shit. A lot of shit. Ain't nobody gonna ever hear, but I got the most. Oh, so, shit. You ain't recording them, bitch, huh? Nah, not recording them, bitch. Okay. Yeah, I recorded them. Fuck it, dog, dog. That shit funny as hell, man. You have show. Now, now, you know what I'm saying? With this music shit, bro, like, what's some things that you still, just in life in general, that you still feel you need to work on that might be holding you back, dog? Mm, man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You know what I'm saying? You can always improve as a person, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like everything, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, you, I can only become sharper. I'm only getting better with myself, so. For sure. You know. Hell yeah, hell yeah. That nigga say he's gonna be singing melodies to these motherfucking sure, hoes, good. <laughs> bro. Oh, dog. Yeah. Now, do you put a lot of, like, experiences you have with women in your music, dog? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, do it. Have anybody ever called you out on it? Like, any lady, like, that shit about me, I know it. I ain't gonna lie, yeah, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. It used to be to the point where I used to be scared to drop certain songs. Like, not scared, bro. Yeah. But, like, I used to be, like, hesitant to drop certain music because I ain't wanted to offend nobody. Yeah. Maybe, but as I got older, it's just like. Fuck it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm an artist. This this what I do. Yeah, and, and that make the best music. Make the best music, bro. You know what I what promise saying? you. Yeah, real life shit. Make the best music because that's what another nigga who going through that same things can go ahead and relate to more. For sure, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Shit, what, uh, What's your day-to-day -day life away from music, though? What what brings fun to you, though? Like, what's some shit that you like doing that niggas might not know about? Hey, bro, I'm I'm a, I'm a I'm a hooper. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a hold on, hold on. When you say hooper, like niggas say hoop, but niggas like uh, I, I, <laughs> I already know this going. Yeah, ahead, like can you really hoop hoop? Yeah, for sure. Okay, okay, okay. Well, that's something you want. You had hoop dreams growing up. Yeah, bro. I used to want to go to the NBA. See what happened? I ain't gonna lie. Like I used to, so as a kid, I grew up singing and going to the NBA. When, when my mom realized that I had a like a, a a a natural talent in like singing with my voice, mm -hmm. we kind of took that route. For sure, you feel me? We took that more route of, yeah. of music. You feel me? But yeah. I was in I was on AAU teams. I was on I was playing basketball for like sure. for my school. Yeah. I, was, I was scoring. I know no no no, no <laughs> bullshit. I was scoring twenty points a game. I yeah. had my had my little run with that. For sure, for sure, you know? for sure. Now what type of were you a nigga who? A shooter, you got the, you got the handles. <coughs> what, what, talk talk to me, dog. I was like more all around. Like yeah. I wasn't like one of them spam niggas yeah. who be just. T -t 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 -t. For like, sure, you yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. But I was like, you know what I'm saying. I was like, I could shoot threes. I could shoot mid range. I could yeah. lay the ball up. Have my own little little dribble style. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't nothing crazy, but I can, I'm getting to the basket. You get to your bed, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause I like dog. I had a lot of niggas like yeah. I hoop. See, I always sell myself short. Like mm -hmm. yeah, I'm straight. Then if yeah. I go out there and ball out, like, oh, nigga, no, you go. I'm not going to lie. That's the best feeling, bro. Yeah, yeah, But if you be like, yeah, I'm, I'm straight, all right. And you don't do so good, like, well, nigga say you're straight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, because I had one homie, <laughs> that nigga say he go hoop. I'm like, man, let's go hoop, nigga. We go hoop. I'm looking at this nigga like, dog. Nah. This nigga out there shoot with the two hands in this bitch. Ah, shit. Sean K Marion. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> KK dribble and shit, dog. Shout out to Sean Marion. Hell yeah. That nigga had to... Uh Dog, my shit used to be like that, bro. Bro. Until I got strong enough to be able to shoot that bitch for real. But I ain't gonna lie, Sean Mary had the strap. Bro. Hell yeah, <laughs> shoot that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. That motherfucker came right from his navel, yeah. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling that motherfucker, dog. Pulling that bitch. Hell yeah. So, so oh yeah, we in the hood, y'all. We got phones over here, dog. It's granddad crib, man. <laughs> real, real hood shit. But dog, like, so you being younger, who is your goat, dog? As far as hooping, is it Brian? Hell no, nah, bro. Shout out to Brian. I I respect everything you're doing, bro. Yeah. That that crying, flopping shit, bro. You gotta chill with that shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah. goal is Jordan. I'm not gonna cap. Oh shit! All right, all right, all right. I'm not gonna lie. Cole. Oh yeah, Cole. That's my nigga, dog. Yeah, hell yeah. Rest in peace. So you say Jordan? That's the, damn, it's, I'm surprised you said that shit about you being younger. Like a lot of people, they they fuck with Jordan, but they always talking, you know, that LeBron shit. Yeah, bro. I can't do it, bro. I argue to death about that. Yeah. Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah, dog. Now you being young, man. Of course, what, give me your worst advice so far. And the best advice you received as far as like life or music? Mm, I ain't gonna lie. My worst advice, I would. My worst, the worst advice somebody ever told me. Like, so glad I didn't listen. Yeah. But the worst advice somebody ever told me was to, like, go get a job yeah. and just cool out. Yeah. And, you Literally. know what I'm saying? Just yeah. lit, like just 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 don't stress yourself out. Yeah. I, I the best advice I ever got was just live your life how you want to live it. Mm -hmm. Like don't. Don't try to force nothing. You feel me? Yeah. Let it all come to you. You For feel sure. me? Like, hell yeah, hell yeah. Now when you say that shit, like, was you at the high school? Did you you knew what you wanted to do? And I was like, man, like, was college ever in the picture? Did you, or like, you just wanted to focus strictly on like the music? And I got my high school diploma. I'm good. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, college was a, like, college was a a thing. The school that I went to was like a prep school. Like, mm -hmm. 
You feel me? Like, I have my fair share of those, but like, you have to get accepted into a college to graduate. Yeah. So, college was on the table. I had a guaranteed scholarship, like, full ride, mm -hmm. but I didn't like going into like my like last couple years of high school i knew that i didn't want to go to college For i sure. knew that that wasn't the route that i wanted to go you yeah. feel me but I, I was i was thinking about doing it because of my mom and i wanted to see her happy with the, you sure. know what I'm saying? But yeah, hell yeah. i had to tell my mom like yo like this is what i want to do like i'm gonna make it happen like For i sure. didn't drop the song my whole my whole school singing it yeah, yeah, yeah. For like, sure. hell I, yeah. I gotta do my music man. a lot of times like i like the like i i you know what I'm saying had conversations with my son like you gotta figure out what you want to do because if you just go to college just to just to go make moms and dad happy, like you're gonna be wasting money because you ain't really there for yourself. Mm -hmm, exactly. You there for other people and shit. And now you ain't got yourself into shit alone. You ain't credit fucked up now because you gotta pay this shit back. Or your mom and dad, they credit fucked up because they ain't took this loan out for you. So if you know, like shit, I'm going to school just for the fuck of it. Ain't no point yeah. even, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You might as well get you a little trade or something. Mm -hmm, exactly, bro. Was yeah. it what now was parents, was they or like people around, was they disappointed when you made that decision just to go strictly hard with the music and not Go to college. I wouldn't say they were disappointed, but I don't think they really like seen the vision. You know yeah. how that go, like when you sure. when you starting when you starting out, yeah. and you're the only one who really see the vision. You mm -hmm. feel me? I don't feel like they necessarily didn't believe in me. Well, I had some people who did it at all. Yeah, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying. But I just feel like everybody was like music, cause like you look at Grand Rapids, like I don't really know no no <laughs> artists who blew up out of there. Like, yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So for it's sure. Just like, Everybody, everybody watching me like, yo, is he really gonna do it? Like, yeah, hell yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure, for sure. Now being like, shit, we from Detroit, nigga, niggas out here. Now, now we starting to get the name. At first, right. like in the early two thousands, like, like up until twenty ten, like you were popping Detroit, but nobody outside was really looking at you like right, that for right, real. Right. I don't think people really looked at Detroit until like the whole Days Loaf T Grizzly era. Yeah, for sure. And what, especially once First Day Out came, and then hell of a drop that beat. That's when niggas kind of like, like, huh, what the fuck are these niggas talking about? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. So, like, being from Detroit, we seeing that shit now. So, do you look at Detroit like, damn, like, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get to that level of fame because everybody know who, De you know, Detroit rappers is. Everybody know, now you know who Flint rappers are. You trying to go ahead and be like, let me go ahead and get mentioned with these motherfuckers up here? Or you looking at in a bigger scheme, like, I want to be known, like, just, you know what I'm saying, universal from everybody. I'm looking at it on the bigger picture, you feel me? Because, mm -hmm. like... I don't want to take away from like I never was like oh, I want to it's a lot of people in my city who like obsessed with the Detroit scene yeah, like yeah, obsessed yeah. with the Detroit song like that's all they ever think about when they make music that's the first thing that they mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying I always looked at it as and I feel like that's what made me different than everybody else because I always looked at it as the bigger picture like I wanted to be I wanted to stand alone you mm -hmm. feel me I'm in a state where Detroit is the topic for sure yeah. you know what I'm saying if everybody you know what I'm saying? I go out I go out to the to these places, you feel me? The first thing they ask me, Oh bro, you from uh you where you from? I'm, I'm from Michigan. Are oh, you from Detroit? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, you from first the D, bro? Yeah, yeah, you yeah, feel yeah. Me? So Yeah. You know but see I'm glad you ain't type of nigga at line say, yeah. Yeah, bro. Cause like, like, <laughs> you, you, you already know how that goes. No, bro. dog. Cause I mean I was I was staying out in Texas. So many niggas claimed Detroit but wasn't from Detroit. Bro. Alright, what high school you went to? Oh, you know, I was sacking on high. Bro, you went second Sacramento, on from Detroit. Bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, no, bro. that's two hours away. Like, bro, come, come on. on no. So you driving two hours of school, right? <laughs> right, bro. Like, come on, now. Keep it a bean. Like, yeah, but no, I, I'm, I like it that you, you know what I'm saying? Rep, if you, when you from somewhere, rep that shit. You know sure. what I'm saying? Like, of course, Detroit's the hot spot. You know, it's always easy to be like Detroit or Flint. Mm -hmm. You know, because those are the two main cities that niggas know from Michigan. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But you was, sit here and rep Grand Rapids and shit, like you said, be the first nigga to really pop off on this music shit. Yeah, for you sure. You know what I'm saying? Who else down there that we should know about, you know, as far as the music shit, dog? I ain't gonna lie, uh, who who making noise right now, Grand is I say AK Bandamont. Mm -hmm. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I can't really think of no <laughs> <else. I ain't laughs> gonna, I ain't gonna, You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, is there any Detroit artists that you wanna you know what I'm saying, tap into and work with? Um, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Um, Dej Loaf, we we uh I spoke to her or whatever. We mm -hmm. might put something together in the future. For sure. You feel for sure. me? Um and what you do, man, sing it. Tara, come on, this come this way, dog. You know what I'm saying? For sure, I got you. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I say, I ain't gonna lie, like it's a lot. I I can't really like think off the top of my head, but I yeah. work a lot of Detroit people. Hell yeah, for sure, man. That's fat. Hell yeah, dog. Sure. Now, dog, what was, what was the first decision you made that you felt like, damn, I'm a real life adult in this motherfucker, dog? Mm. Man, bro, taking my first flight on my own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Down, down to the A. Taking yeah. my first flight, bro. Booking all that shit. I'm like, bro, I'm really growing. Ain't nobody <laughs> helping me with this shit. <laughs> hey, for sure, for sure. For sure. Man, what you had went down there for? 
Was a business shit or Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Me and me and my uh manager, shout out Jameer, shout out uh Piranha Digital, you feel me? For sure. Um we you know what I'm saying, as a collective we went down we uh I went down there and you know what I'm saying, tapped it up with them and mm -hmm. you feel me, we made magic happen and it's been history ever since. Hell yeah, shout out to Jameer, man. He wanna put me up on hip to you and uh Leah Envy and shit like that, dog. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Now tell me like, how did y'all make that that connection? Like he from Atlanta? Yeah. Uh nah, nah, nah. My manager from New York. Okay, so but how you made that connection? Like you being from Michigan, him from New York, you know what I'm saying, living in Atlanta, like how you made the connection with him? How you how you found you or how you found him? It was crazy, bro. Like I was on I was really on my come up that like hard. You yeah. feel me? And I got to the point where I reached my ceiling in like the city to a certain amount. Like to get further, I needed that extra push. I'm For like sure. I need that extra push. I'm like, I wanna focus on the music, like, you feel me? Like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I'm talking to different, different certain, certain people or like a a, a a random record label or production company. For sure. I don't know how to talk to these people. Yeah. So yeah, I'm yeah. like, you know, what I'm saying I want to mess no deals up or whatever. For sure. I'm like, yo, I need, I need a minute. I need a manager. I need somebody to help. Like, I need somebody to man help manage this. Mm -hmm. And me reaching out, you know, what I'm saying he was the only one that was like, yo, like. I'm gonna work with you, like you feel me, like yeah. I just gotta see if you serious. And every For since sure. then, yeah. you know, what I'm saying I proved myself, and, and that's that's how it came about. Been rocking out, shit. Been rocking out. Hell yeah! So you just like reached out through like social media, or yeah, just, just like just like just like on some some gotta work. Yeah, for you know sure, for sure. Now, now, of course, you not like him not being around around you, like he he staying somewhere else. Like how how did you realize like damn I could trust this nigga like this somebody I could refocus? Really it be a lot of fake ass managers out here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas out here just, you know what I'm saying, just saying they got that manager role, but they really don't know what the fuck they doing. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. I feel like for me with him, bro, it was just action. Like, mm -hmm. I'm a person of action. When you do something, you feel me? And when two people try to, when two people got, when two people make themselves prove each other worthy of certain stuff, mm -hmm. it builds trust. For sure. Because like, you know what I'm saying? Either one of us don't want to waste no time. So yeah. it's like. I'm here for some, he here for some. Like, let's get it. Like, mm -hmm. let's put it together, see if it works. Every time, like, you know what I'm saying? We we have a idea or do something. He approved me. Like, yo, I got this lined up. Boom, let's get it. Yeah. Boom. All yeah. I gotta do is go. I'm like, all right, bet I'm ready. You for sure. Hell so, yeah. I made and trust. Dog persistent too. He gonna be on you, bro, dog. You know what I'm saying, bro? Bro, <laughs> he gonna every, be on. bro every time, my, my bad, bro. It, it be no, times, bro. Where I'm like, damn, like I'm cooling. Like I remember, I'm I'm in the A. I'm cooling in the hotel. Yeah. I just get there from laying down. Yeah, he like, come on. He like, <laughs> he like, come on. I got a studio session booked in an hour. Yeah, he forty minutes away. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, ah man, he owe me. I'm like, I like this though. It keep, no, for it, sure. He keep that. You know. Hell what yeah, hell yeah. Cause he like dog. Cause I ain't gonna lie. I ain't yeah. gonna fuck a lie. When he first had mentioned you, I look. I'm like, dog. dog see, he about fifteen. Right. I'm like, <laughs> That, so I'm like, all right, I'll get back with you. Like, yeah, for sure. For so sure. he came back again. I'm like, dog, how old, bro? Like 21. I'm like, all right, cause I ain't gonna lie to you, dog. I got turned off from like two people who I had on the show that was young. Yeah. And they really, you know, didn't engage in conversation. Like you, you, you talking, you saying your shit. But a lot of motherfuckers would be like, yeah, dog. yeah, for sure. For like sure. damn. So I told him like, dog, they gotta be 24 over, dog. You feel me? But yeah, for sure. like I said, the last two people I had, it was one cat was 20, you 21. They, they might have changed it up for you, motherfucker. So you might you better thank them niggas. <laughs> I, I appreciate you, whoever you are. <laughs> so yeah, dog. So um, no, I'm talking about you. You might change it up for the niggas oh, coming yeah. after you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, ain't I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna have to. I gotta. Set, I gotta. Cause a lot of niggas don't know how to come on. A lot of niggas. Cause what you doing though? This is some more game for you, bro. Like when you when you come on your podcast, you selling yourself. If you going podcast, radio interview, whatever, you selling yourself because a lot of times. Niggas gonna go ahead and be oh dog seen cool as fuck on that interview. Let me go ahead and check his music out. Yeah, for sure. Cause I ain't done that shit. And some niggas ain't like, damn, that shit was trash. Like the yeah. music. But then you like them so much, you gonna give them another chance. Yeah. But some niggas get on the interview and be like, oh, that nigga full of shit. Or that nigga don't even like talking. Like, man, I don't fuck with that nigga. Like, and me and him, we both didn't done that shit. I ain't became a art a fan of an artist just off their interview. Like, that's how I got hip to Nipsey like mm -hmm. back in 2013, 2014. Like damn, bro, know he talking about bro yeah. and his business. Like, let me check the music out. Yeah, for sure. And Larry June, those two niggas, like yeah, for sure. The right. interviews, I I saw the interviews before I heard their music. Mm. You know? Simba. Simba, oh yeah, 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 yep. He was a nigga. Simba was a nigga that his freestyles and his interviews made you want to go ahead and buy the buy the buy the, um, the uh, album. Mm. So yeah, dog. And like I said, I checked your music out. I fuck with it. I fuck with it. like, you, and you you, you you telling how you really feel about some shit. So we definitely gonna talk about that. But give me an album or a song. It could be your song, your album, or somebody else's song or album. If you wanted to introduce yourself to the real, you just gonna press play and then that's gonna that's gonna say a lot. 
I ain't gonna lie, like, I say my newest song out right now, Remember Me. Yeah. You feel me? I, I say that because mm-hmm. in the song, I'm basically talking about, like, you remember me, like, you remember me, the little kid, the, the little, you know what I'm saying, the little... Lil John that nobody thought was gonna really do what he doing right for now. Sure. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Remember me? Yeah, you know? for sure. Hell for sure. yeah. Hey, hey, y'all remember me? The motherfucking nigga, y'all said. <laughs> like, yeah, no, for sure. was, <laughs> no, 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 for real though. No, for sure, for sure. Hell yeah. <laughs> now give me a song that might change your life from somebody else, a diff, uh, another artist, or you know what I'm saying? That that changed your life, dog. Mm, I ain't gonna lie. Um, I'll probably say it could be a song or an album. I'm gonna go album. That's that's hard. For sure. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go song. I'm gonna go Lucas Coley feelings. Okay, okay, okay. Who you said Lucas Coley? Lucas Coley. Damn, I gotta get hip. I ain't I ain't hip. Yeah, for sure. Lucas yeah. Coley for sure. For sure. Now what 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 was about that song that kinda like that got to you? Um, like it's just like the rawness of it. Like mm-hmm. this was way before I was really taking myself serious with music. So Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's one of like my people that I look up to when it comes to the music influence. For sure. Hell you know what yeah. I'm saying? The way he opened up, the way I could he, I could feel every fiber of his being on a song about him opening up about what happened or mm-hmm. what happened about something like you know what i'm saying for sure now now when you create music do you ever like tap into like like not, not sometimes it ain't gotta be about your life like you thinking about something like say you see dog over there like he going through some shit so you can write music just off of a story he told you or some shit that you just imagine like damn if i was in this situation how would i write this song like do you ever you know what i'm saying go to creating a song like that yeah for sure what, what, what song was that that you would say like you tapped in or or you still creating um, it's a song I got named. Uh, Thank you, though. I want to say iffy people. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not out yet. Okay, but oh. that that's a perfect example. For sure, hell yeah. Now, what's that? What, what's that about? If you if you want to, you know, what I'm saying, um, give it away a little bit. You know, what I'm saying, just some heartbreak. You know, what I'm saying, some stuff. You know, what I'm saying. I've watched people. I've watched people around me go through. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying with various things, whether it's girls, whether it's friends betraying them. You know, what I'm saying just For sure. various things like that. Now tell me this, dog. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you're a young thug in this mother, dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to your thug, though. <laughs> young thug. And you said heartbreaking shit. I'm going to see if you going to keep it real with me, dog. Sure. Well, last time you cried, dog, what was the reason, bro? Last time I know I your cried. man's right there, dog. It's okay, dog. It was the last time I <laughs> cried. I ain't going to lie, bro. <laughs> I ain't going to lie, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm one of them, bro. I ain't going to lie. I'm very vocal about my feelings. I ain't going to lie to you. Sure. You feel me? Last time I cried. Yeah. I like two years ago. Okay, okay, shit. You gonna tell us what it was? Or? Bro, it was a heartbreak, this... bro. Okay, okay. What she do to you, dog? I'm a motherfucking heartbreak. I'm, 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 before I ask you, you got a girl now or you just? Nah. All nah. right, bad, bad. So we ain't got to worry about hurting nobody feeling yeah, shit. Nah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what was it, dog, that fucked you up, cuz? Like... I ain't gonna lie, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You put your trust in them. You feel <laughs> me? From, 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 from a jet. I was with her for like, what, three years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, like two years, like. Feel me since I was in like tenth grade, high school. Hell yeah, yeah. So at that time, tenth grade, nigga, you probably thinking this shit gonna last forever. Oh, you know, what I'm saying? You, you know how that shit goes. Hell yeah. You, feel me? you thinking that shit gonna last forever? For sure. You feel me? You like this? You know what I'm saying? This is it. Yeah, she the one. Nigga. Yeah, she the one. You feel me? Duh, that's funny. I had, I definitely motherfucker had that one dog. You be like, damn, man. Fuck happened, because then older nigga tell you like, dog, that shit ain't gonna work. Hell yeah. Then you like, <laughs> then you in your head, you in the back of your head, like, what are you just talking, bro? <laughs> I ain't listening to that shit, bro. Yeah. No, for sure, dog. I, like, was it some heartbreak? Like, nigga, like, she was talking to motherfucker DeMario and you found out or some shit? Yeah, bro. I ain't Damn. gonna lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. It was some crazy shit, bro. It was yeah. like, whole time, bro. You know what I'm saying? We gonna just call bro Frank, bro. Yeah, yeah, You know right. what I'm saying? I can't, I can't <laughs> hate on, I can't hate on Frank. You, feel, you know what I'm saying? He, he playing the game. You feel yeah, me? But at the same time, damn, Frank. Yeah. <laughs> damn. <laughs> damn, Frank. <laughs> So that's how I be like, you know what it is, but damn, cause yeah, me, I yeah. want people. Why you gotta do it like that to me, dog? Man, but see, I'm, a, I'm just don't let that shit. Like my thing is, dog, when you when you fucking around, bro, it just get you like. Don't let that shit fuck you up to like nigga. Like you can't get over that shit. Yeah. I, I did some wild shit, bro. Like my oldest son, his mom, nigga, we broke up. Yeah. So nigga, I'm 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 leaving the club, nigga. I, I'm I'm trying to get hoes, but in the back of my mind, I'm. I'm we just broke up a month ago. What the fuck is you doing? Right. I ride past the old crib, nigga. I see a car. I'm thinking it's a car that she probably, you know what I'm saying, nigga didn't left. My dumb ass trying to climb up the motherfucking little apartment and shit, oh, dog. Shit. I'm trying to climb. I'm Spider-Man in this motherfucker. Type shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in bitch. I'm so drunk. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck she doing just to get in that bitch and realize, nigga, she in that bitch sleep. Ah. So that shit had you doing some crazy bro, shit, how bro. you doing some crazy ass shit, bro? No, so yeah, don't, don't do no wild shit, bro, unless you did some shit already. Like. Man, I done did. 
<laughs> my nigga Frank had this nigga hurt like right, that nigga ho Frank, ass nigga bro. Frank. I ain't gonna lie, shout out to Frank, bro. You did your shit, but God. <laughs> <laughs> now, was you ever Frank? Was you ever the Frank in the situation? Like you, in, you knew she had motherfucker. I was the Frank in the situation. <laughs> So down, down, bro. Maybe that was my karma. Yeah, exactly. But my thing is, you can never be mad at the niggas because he just doing what a nigga do. You know what I'm do. saying? Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? So when niggas be like, oh, I'm going to beat his ass. Like, why? Mm-hmm. He just, he doing what the woman allowed him to do. You know what I'm saying? That's how we think. You know what I'm saying? But that shit funny as hell, dog. Shout out to the Franks out there. Shit. Sure. We was all once Franks and got Frank, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> <man. no> shit. <laughs> oh, bro. Nigga get Frank out here, cuz. Of course. Oh yeah, damn! That is a pause moment. Ain't it? Yeah, nigga, you don't want, you don't want no Franks. <laughs> I promise you. Hell no, dog. Yeah. Hey, see, that's what we was talking about too, dog. Nowadays, you gotta be careful with everything you do and say. Yeah. You gotta eat a hot dog in private. Yeah, like <laughs> a banana. Shit. For sure. You gotta break that bitch off like a thug. Nigga. Yeah, like, yeah, bro. It's too much shit now, dog. Like, yeah. like my nigga, I ain't. He ain't got me taking pictures eating a hot dog. Like, damn, man, got me with the glizzy in his damn. Bitch, dog. Duh. And my little son, I'm trying to keep that. That nigga like bread, so he eating raw glizzies. Like, Damn. he just buy himself a glizzy. Oh, shit. Like, yeah, son, you five. See, you, what you got? Yeah, you got to yeah, stop, dog. Yeah. Put some bread on that motherfucker. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hell no. Now, talk about, you know what I'm saying? We kind of, we touched on you being, you know what I'm saying, from Grand Rapids. But talk about who was in the crib, man, like, growing up. Like, man, who was, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got West Side, East Side? Yeah, like, for sure. All right, talk about what, what side of town you, you from and, and who was in the crib with you. I ain't going to lie. I'm from the, um, let me see. I want to say West Side. You feel me? I was born on the West Side. You mm. feel me? Because that's where our hospitals is. Okay. But it kind of like I want to say prestigious, but yeah. I was from like the nicer side. Like I grew up in the nicer side. Then we moved. We moved to like where 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 willing at? Like what side? It's still Kentwood. It's still Kentwood. Yeah, okay. like yeah, like by 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 the Kentwood area for those from Grand Rapids. You feel me? Or got knowledge of Grand Rapids? You know what Kentwood is? Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Now, who was in the crib? Like you got siblings? Like was uh, mom and dad together? Are they still together? Yeah, for sure. My mom, my dad together for sure. Oh shit! That's a little to you. Shit, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that shit don't happen too often. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I have my little sister. Okay, no brothers. No, nah, no brothers. Okay, okay. Now, how was your dad on you, though? Like growing up, like was he one of them dads that like <coughs> nigga though? Hey, I'm on your ass, or like yeah, he, bro. He, he was like a cool dad. Like how was how was your dad? Like cause you got those dads, those militant dads. You got those dads like homie slash dad. Like how was your pops? Yeah, for sure. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That nigga, that nigga was cool. Like like to a certain extent. Like mm-hmm. like he he like he got strict as hell. But I understand why. For sure, you yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah. Cause like it made me the man I am today. You yeah. feel me? But. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't, I ain't used to. I used to get along. I, I used to get along with my parents. Not at all. I, I like. You know what I'm saying. You a kid, and then you. Sure you know what I'm saying. Shit. Yeah. Like. You, like. Damn. Like. What the fuck. Like, <laughs> I, I, I can't do this, and then like you get older. Like. Damn. That's why. I ain't no. Know. Even now. Wait till you turn like. I say ten years from now. Wait till you see a shit. Even ten years back that you gonna be looking like what the fuck like. I, I was out here, nigga. Like on some other shit, bro. Yeah. Like your way of thinking gonna change as you progress. Unless you yeah. just gonna be a nigga who's just stuck. Yeah, you feel for me? Sure. You know what I'm saying? Cause you won't change as you get older. You going for the better, not for the worse, though. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Sure. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Cause there's a lot of times I reflect back and be like, damn, I was out here like I'll take care of my responsibilities because I had a kid, mm-hmm. but I was out here wild and just on in other areas. Like, like a lot like you got a dream that you're chasing at 21, bro. I ain't have a, I ain't had like a dream, you know what I'm saying? Like I wanted to rap, but I didn't take that shit serious, like how you found the manager, you traveling. Yeah. So you already on the right path right now just by like just knowing what you want to fucking do. Yeah, for sure. That nigga, like, I ain't figure out why I wanted to do it until I got later on in my life. Mm-hmm. So yeah. So you already on the right path, bro. Keep that shit, you know, just keep at that shit. Sure, most that. Was there ever a time you ever thought about quitting this rap shit? Or just music? Yeah. I ain't gonna say rap because you ain't you do you artist. Yeah, for sure. Was there ever a time you wanted to just quit this music shit? Hell yeah, bro. I, I ain't I ain't gonna lie, I went through every every like you know what I'm saying? I went through every emotion, every feeling, like you know what I'm saying? When this shit got too hard, like, I'm thinking, like, damn, bro, like, did I bite off more than I could chew? Like, pause. pause. <laughs> Definitely pause. Definitely pause. Definitely I pause. Me, nigga. Definitely <laughs> pause. Definitely pause. I ain't gonna lie. Definitely pause. For sure. <laughs> I knew some shit like the whole time we just talked about glizzy and yeah, all that man. shit. I knew that shit was going. Y'all pause me for motherfucker saying you gonna be, get that Frank nigga. Yeah, <laughs> no. yeah, yeah, but yeah, go ahead. <laughs> no, no, for real though, for real though, I ain't gonna lie. Like <laughs> sometimes that shit, sometimes that shit. I'm like, damn, like, like the pressure got the pressure got crazy. Like for sure, for you sure. know what I'm saying. Everybody, everybody looking up to me. I'm the only person that you know. I said that was my age, 17, 18 at the time. Mm. You know what I'm saying. Doing what I was doing, that shit got like it got to the point where I'm like, damn, I can't imagine how that shit gonna be when I'm like really turning up. You yeah, feel me? For sure, hell yeah. You but, ready for that shit though? Like, 
I ain't going to say when. I ain't going to say if. But when that shit do turn up, like, you ready for that shit? For niggas to come out the woodwork, nigga, like... Yeah, you ready for that pressure? Like as far as being a, a you know, what I'm saying mainstream artist when that shit happen? I don't think it's no, I don't think it's no, no way that I can be ready for it. Yeah, I, 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 I think that shit just gotta happen. For sure, hell yeah, yeah. that was good answer, nigga. Shit, you, you a good young nigga, dog. <laughs> 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 now, you. now go back to your pops. Like, when did you start understanding him more? And like, damn, he wasn't just, just on my ass for you know, what I'm saying no reason. Like he was on me because he wanted me to you know, what I'm saying be something or do something. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like as I got older, I said like when I got like eighteen, I moved out of my parents' crib. We went mm. through a lot of shit. Yeah, had to get on. You know, feel me? Go for through sure. my own shit. Yeah. And then you know, till I got out of there, and then you know, what I'm saying I'm living life, and I'm I'm in the world, and I'm by myself, and I'm going through shit. Mm. You feel me? I'm doing everything on my own, and I had to realize like. I had to look back, like I, I wanted to look back at the reason why my parents did certain shit and the reason why certain shit happened. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And I'm just like, oh, that's why. You know what I'm yeah, saying? And I start sure. getting older, my mind start developing and maturing. Mm hmm. Hell yeah. You know. Hell yeah. Cause even my son, though, my son, like I said, he in high school, so I, I kind of like, I like to tell him things, cause like knock on wood, I don't want to leave this motherfucker no time soon, but I be wanting to just groom him for if something do happen to me, bro. You got younger siblings that you need to go ahead and take care of, and need to go ahead and pass these. Motherfucking words that I'm saying to them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not around no more. So you, my mouthpiece. Damn, that's another pause, ain't it? <laughs> but, but you, you like, you me. So you got to go ahead. Whatever I gave you, whatever game I gave you, now you got to go ahead and get to your little brother and your sister. Yeah, got to hand it down. Yeah, for sure. Like, I sure. even, like, even though me and his mom not together, she got kids. I got kids. You know what I'm saying? With my wife, she got kids with her husband. I'm like, though, you got to look out for her and her daughters too. So, sure. nigga, so something happened to me, like, nigga, you, you the man, nigga, like, yeah, for sure. make this shit happen, bro. So, a lot of times, like, you, I, I'm quite sure I ain't looked at my dad like you was on some bullshit, but then you be like, damn, I see why I fucked that nigga was stealing, because my dad was motherfucking, that nigga be robbing nigga. Hey. Like, but I see, like, it was fucked up, but I see. <coughs> you see what was behind You did it. for the fam. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. You went by the wrong way, but you had good intentions, even though you was robbing niggas, taking their shit, bro. But <laughs> <laughs> you did it for, for exactly, us, nigga. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> It was a good motive behind it. For sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dog. Now, dog, with, with, um, you going to the music shit, bro. I know you was, you know what I'm saying, you was into music at, at a young age, at fucking seven, eight years old. But you really got tapped into that shit, like, as, what, 17, right? Yeah, I said, like, six, 16, 17. What was the turning point? Like, was it something, like, within you or something that you heard? Like, what was the point that you, like, I want to take this music shit, like, for real, for real? It was just like, you know what I'm saying, it got to the point where you ain't had to go to a major studio to create. Like, not fast, you know what I'm saying? Studio studio equipment got way it got way more uh how can I say it? Studio equipment got way more simpler to the point where you could buy the equipment, you could just plug up in your crib. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know take it right down there. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying? I got to the point where I'm just like, I feel too much. I need to put this on paper. So yeah. I start writing. Mm -hmm. Then after I start writing, you know what I'm saying? The my phones, garage band, if you know you for know sure. band yeah, lab, yeah. you feel me? Hell yeah, for Start sure. Start making making music off my phone and you feel me? At that point it was history. Yeah, hell yeah. Who was the first person that told you your shit was dope? Oh Cause you never forget about them motherfuckers like, damn, cause my shit was sweet. <laughs> my mom. My yeah. mom and my dad. I ain't gonna lie, they real blunt. So I'm like, shit, if my shit was ass, they'd tell, they tell me, you, right? for sure. Hell yeah, you need the motherfucking you know, blunt. Niggas. And then like, you know what I'm saying, you got a little siblings, my I got a little sister. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Everything I do, like she gonna tell me like, Jamie, what the fuck you doing? Like, yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. So I you know, like when my sister heard it, she's like, This you? I'm yeah. like, I'm like, yeah. yeah. She like, oh my gosh, for real? Yeah. Start showing her little friends. I'm like, yeah. Oh, you got them, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, we See? Yeah, you got the Chico, you got the little sister. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. She know what the little girls want. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So she can go ahead and pass it to her friends, you good to go. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, that shit, that shit hard. That's hard as fuck, dog. Sure. Now now, cause uh when you talking about like niggas keeping it real, you need those people that's gonna keep it real. Sure. Now, are you able to take that that realness? Like if niggas say, "Hey, hey, hey, Jay, dog, that's your ass." Yeah, for sure. But but they got to break down why his ass though. Yeah, I, but but see the thing is, when I ask somebody that, I never like one thing I'm gonna say is I never got nobody be like, "Oh, that's that's not it right there." That's for not sure. it. So that's good. But at the same time, I have people like, "Oh, scale it out of one out of ten, mm -hmm. even if they be like a seven, yeah. I'm like, why is it a seven? Yeah, for sure. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? I, they don't necessarily tell me why. I don't know if they be like, damn, I don't really want to tell that nigga. But yeah, I sure, want to yeah. know. I'm yeah, like, yo, no, why is it a seven? Like, why is it a ten? Like, is yeah. it ass? Did I do this? Can I do this better? Oh yeah, you could do this better. Okay, for sure. cool. Hell yeah, hell yeah. You need those people. Yeah, yeah. But you got, they got, like I said, they got to let you know why it's fucked exactly. up. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because this nigga, always, he first person told me his son was was, was straight. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I felt myself, nigga, like, oh, I'm hard, nigga. Yeah, I'm about to make it, cuz. Like, this, yeah. this nigga don't like nothing. He don't like himself and shit. <laughs> but no, you need those motherfuckers that don't keep it. 
Let's go keep it real with you, bro. Yeah, for sure. Like, and you gotta be able to take that motherfucker, that shit, dog, that pain. Mm -hmm. Cause I told people this shit a lot. Um, shout out to Oprah Rollin. I told him this shit when I was doing music. I had man, we had trash names. It was me and my homeboy. We was Young City Boys. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, that's kind of hard. Though. Man, it, we thought it was. Yeah. But I gave him my demo. I used to leave my email, my phone number on that bitch. A nigga called me and left a voicemail how trash I was. Oh, word? Yeah, a nigga said, nigga, you ass, nigga. Like a random. They random nigga, though, who I gave city to. Damn. You know how it is to wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning and get a voicemail? And Damn. you think it's on some positive shit? Damn, you wake up out of your sleep here. What the fuck he just said? That nigga yelling, too, so he drunk, nigga. Like, <laughs> Like, stop doing music, nigga. <laughs> like, damn, you need bitch. Like, you just, <laughs> you laying next to your girl and shit. Like, damn. Yo, girl, like, who you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, bro, that was, like, that was some real shit. And, like, the old me would have said, like, nigga, stop doing it. But I kept doing it. But, right. see, my problem was I wasn't ready to invest in myself, bro. Like, mm. that shit cost too much, bro. bro. Like, to be an artist, that shit cost too much. Oh, bro. Like, nigga, recording, get you original beat. Motherfuckers, uh, videos, studio time. If yeah, you don't got then, the equipment. Then if you just recording shit, you gotta understand. You gotta pay a nigga to mix and master that bitch. Mm -hmm. If you don't know how to mix and master, yeah, dog. Feel me? Then you gotta actually, if you wanna do your studio, you gotta get the equipment. For sure. You feel me? Hell yeah, All right, bro. Do you know how to record yourself? Yeah, for sure. Oh shit! Like, at what point did you realize like I need to do this shit? I can't be going to no engineer, bro. When I when I when I when I was fucking with a producer, bro, yeah. Niggas, niggas want to change their motherfucking prices on the nigga, you feel me? <laughs> niggas, sure. niggas want to up their prices on the nigga I, unexpectedly. And I'm like, yeah, bro, I can't keep on getting whacked. Because I'm young, yeah, you know, yeah. I'm 17, 16, 17. So For it's sure. like, they're going to they, they gonna wax you, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, you, don't, yeah. you don't really know how it go, you exactly, feel me? Exactly, you just paying that you, shit. You just paying it, like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. You like, 800. I'm like, all right, I got you. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? For sure. like, Hell yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. like, nigga, you pay 800 for this Yeah. Shit? Nigga pay 800 for one song, nigga, bitch. You hear the kid in the background, nigga. You feel me? It's whatever. Let me ask you this, bro. This is way off subject, but give me what's some lingo, bro, in Grand Rapids that we don't use. Like in Detroit, we say like "my baby" is on the flow. Like what's some shit that y'all might say that we don't know shit about? Oh shit. Uh, shit. I don't know because a lot of shit that that we get, like a lot of shit that we get, come mm -hmm. from y'all. Mm -hmm. It like come passed down. So shit. I don't know if y'all say you feel me. Like how oh, yeah, I always say that. Y'all yeah. say that. Yeah. Uh, keep it a bean. I don't know if y'all really say that for real. So, sorry, kind of, kind of, kind of. Yeah, that's a big thing down there. Calling yeah. niggas hams, kerms. Oh no, no, no I, I ain't heard that. What's a, what's a kerm? Kerm, yeah, kerm yeah. is a ham. Okay, okay, it's, okay, it's, okay. It's, 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 it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You feel me? See, all word the niggas need to bring back is Chauncey. What's that? That's a Chauncey ass nigga. That's just a wet, soft ass nigga. Damn. Cause if you go back and look at Minister Society, Chauncey ass nigga. <laughs> Chauncey was the nigga who fucking uh 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 turned the tape in on motherfucking um old dog in there. Uh, so yeah, you, you old chunky ass yeah, nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Sure. you got a lot of chunky out here, dog. So matter of fact, the niggas who was uh nigga, shit, I guess you would call Gunner a chunky. Mm. Telling ass nigga, like it, that's if he did it. Yeah, yeah, you feel for me? Sure, but for <laughs> sure. For sure. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. No, I, I, I was wondering because like you know what I'm saying. Of course, that's like niggas in Chicago, and even though it's right around the corner, them niggas to me sound he's from down south. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When I went to um my wife, her dad's side family is from Milwaukee. Them niggas country as fuck. Yeah, bro. bro. Yeah, so would you say like y'all kind of behind on things? Do y'all feel like y'all up to date like as far as gear, fashion, and shit like that? Because even in Texas, like them niggas, I feel like they are three years behind. Oh yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like I feel like we a little behind. Yeah. I ain't a little behind. You for sure, for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah. I feel like I feel like niggas in my city they a little behind. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? I don't know how many years I want to say, but I know it's not like latest. But I feel like it's because we don't got that shit. Like y'all sure, yeah, yeah. got sax fit for shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all sure. got Michigan nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't got that shit down there. Yeah, where y'all go get y'all motherfucking gear? Like what what more y'all hitting up? Where y'all going? Shit, if I'm if I'm going to the mall, I'm hitting up I'm hitting up every time. Okay. Do niggas still go to the mall or just get that shit online? Uh I mean shit. Most of the time niggas go to the mall there. You yeah, feel yeah. me? Like it ain't really like a rich city for real unless for you sure. got really money, a career. Yeah, 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 for so sure. Everybody yeah. going to the mall for sure. Hell yeah. You ever been Grand Rapids before? Okay, okay. Shit, that's just me. I ain't been nowhere. Shit. <laughs> I went to Saginaw. That shit was kind of weird. Saginaw. Like, it was a little Saginaw, different. Saginaw is different for sure. Yeah, because my, my, uh, my brother had went to the Juco in Saginaw. I forgot the name of it because he was going to go to Saginaw a uh, hoop, but his grades wasn't, wasn't mm. right. So he went to the Juco to play first. Yeah. But then that nigga said, fuck that shit. Damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga said, fuck, fuck hooping. He, he, didn't really, he was good with the hooping, like nigga going to AAU, traveling, but yeah. at a certain point, he lost the love. I think when our OG, our mom passed. Uh, and he yeah. said he wasn't really fucking with no more. Yeah, shit. yeah. Now, go back to the studio shit, bro. What's some shit that you need in your studio session for it to be a good, you know what I'm saying? Some niggas need weed lit. Some niggas need hoes. Yeah. Some niggas need to be dolo. Like, what you need? Uh, I need I need, I need, need the engineer to y
For sure. You feel me? That's the one number one. Mm-hmm. I need a simply lemonade. You <laughs> feel me? That should be good. Yeah, that should yeah. be good. Fuck, boy. For sure, no pop. Hell yeah, no. Nah, fuck. You can't, can't, can't fuck with the pop. You can't fuck with the pop. Hell no. Nah, hell no. Nah. You feel me? And then probably a Fiji and a simply orange juice. Okay, okay. You don't, no, no, no lick? No, no. You, no lick, you, you, no you weed, drink? No nothing. I mean, shit, on occasion. Okay, okay, okay. You smoke? No, I don't smoke. Okay, okay. Good job. Yeah, sure. You got to hold your voice down. Let dog smoke, girl. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> For sure, bro. For sure. Yeah, dog, Now, your first time in the studio, bro. A lot of times, that shit different from just rapping in your bedroom. Hell yeah. Like how hard, like how hard was it to like really like, all right, I'm going to the bitch and record because like you hearing them bitches coming, beats coming from the mic from the other headphones. You trying like sometimes niggas try to rap on beat so much that it sound crazy. Yeah, bro. Like I mean, how was your first time in that motherfucker? My first time in the studio was weird as hell. Yeah. I'm looking at the engineer like, bro, you gonna like stop when I tell you to stop? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. A lot of thoughts are going through my head like, is the, if this shit ass, I just paid this money for <laughs> this <laughs> shit. <laughs> it's his waited, fault, shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, I wasted this money if this shit ass. Yeah. I'm like, please. <clears throat> I heard my voice on the mic, bro, for the first time, like a real mic. Because when I used to record, I used to use the wired Apple for headphones. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I heard my voice on a real mic. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, for I'm sure. like, this is ass. I'm like, I'm not dropping it. Yeah. I showed everybody. They're like, please show me what you got. Yeah. Everybody like, that's hard. That was my first song. That's hard, nigga. Drop that, drop that, drop that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, all right, bet. I dropped it. It went crazy. Yeah, hell so, yeah. So yeah, my first time in the studio, it was weird. It was like a little adjusting. Okay, for sure. Hell yeah. And I, uh, your last uh, full project was 2021. You've been dropping singles in between. Yeah. Uh, everything is nothing. Uh, what yeah. was the feedback on that project, and do you feel like it got the love it deserved? Um, I ain't gonna lie, it was it was it was a good it was a good project. I ain't gonna mm-hmm. lie, I feel like um, it got a. I feel like <clears throat> it could have got better feedback. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But I'm support full for everything that I get. You know what I'm saying? So it went it went good. The girls loved it because that was like the first like project that i was really like singing about love and yeah, shit like that. yeah so, my niggas in love shit man fuck you frank you know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> bro but and i ain't gonna lie one of those crazy bro that was after the whole frank shit hell yeah, yeah he was yeah. you're ready good i had to i was ready bro locked and loaded yeah now like how do you promote your music bro like of course you got your manager but what do you do to get your shit out like what you on social media you in the hood like what you doing to promote your shit uh, i'll be uh i'll be on uh social media you know mm-hmm. tiktok yeah. You know, and then like mainly for me, mainly for me, uh, it'd be where it'd be like word of mouth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people a lot of people I tell they got big followings. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? I can use they platform. For sure. You know what I'm saying? To yo, post this for me. All right, boom, she got fifty thousand followers. All right, bet she gonna post that. Hell yeah. Boom. Hell yeah. At you. least ten K people gonna go to it. Yeah, for sure. No, fast, hell yeah. Now you being you know what I'm saying that was two years ago. What would you have done different with that project now that you look back on? Like, what would you have done different with that shit? I would have took my time on it yeah. more because I feel like back then, bro, I was so much in the moment. You feel yeah. me? And going through all that, I wanted just everybody to hear it. I'm like, I'm finna drop this shit. Yeah, for sure. I'm like, Shorty finna hear this shit. Hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? Da, da, da. And then, but like, I feel like I rushed a little bit. You feel yeah. me? I ain't mad at it because it's raw and it's uncut. Yeah. But. Now, be for real, mm-hmm. when you dropped that bitch, you thought she was getting a deal the, mark, the next day. Bro, I'm not going to lie, bro. It was like that with all, them, all, yeah. them, all, of, all of it, bro. I yeah. dropped that shit. I'm like, ain't no way, bro. I'm like, bro, this shit. For sure, this shit hard. Hell yeah. Um, uh, Hell yeah. Now, we got this thing we call, dog, talk about the bars. I take a bar line from your song. You tell me what what's up. For sure. So, um, remember me. You say, I stopped talking to broke girls that can't do nothing for me. <laughs> Like talk about, like, talk about that Cause usually You know what I'm saying Hoes be like I ain't talking to no broke nigga <laughs> Yeah 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 You know what I'm saying But shit hey You say we gotta be on the same playing field Yeah for sure I feel like that was on the play Of what they be saying now Yeah I'm playing their game Hell yeah For sure Now that same song You said how the fuck you broke But you chasing these women I ain't gonna lie Cause I ain't hear a lot of chicks broke <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? You know how that go Yeah You know what I'm saying? You just you just get to a certain point in your life Something happened for it happened older something happened younger you yeah. feel me but i got to the point in my life i'm like i ain't chasing i ain't chasing these sure. girls you feel what, me if i ain't broke was there a time that your brokenness your brokenness i ain't saying you broken i don't know if you was ever for broke sure, for sure. but was there a time your brokenness stopped you from like nigga stop the chick from fucking with you yeah yeah talk to, 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 nigga yeah. give me a give, give, picture because i ain't have i had a chick that i pulled at the club with my homie and they whip but then i picked them up in my whip they was disappointed nigga like they, sure. they stopped fucking with me for sure like <laughs> if y'all want google a 96 corsica that's the car I picked her up in. 
Yeah, I never sure. heard back from her again, nigga. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure, bro. That's how I be, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It's been times where you feel me, it'd be a shorty, you feel me. Now I feel like personally I'm a I'm a, I'm a cocky nigga. I can you feel me? I feel like my looks are carry. Yeah. I don't really need the money, you feel me? <laughs> but at the same time, you know you got the ones where it's like, okay, like Cause I ain't gonna lie, I like to test females. Like yeah. I, like I be like, I go out with her. Feel me? I'm like, I'm like, all right. How about you get the popcorn? I'm yeah. like, I get the drinks or something. I pay something for the movie like, or something. Yeah, yeah I'm like that right now. Shit. You, you feel me? <laughs> it's, like, ah. it's been times where you know what I'm saying that method ain't really worked for me. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, for you sure. know how that go? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now you say uh, since a kid I was different on number one on the track number one. Yeah. Like, like how how you feel like you was different from most niggas your age, bro? Cause I felt like in my head I already had it figured out why everybody else was looking for something. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah. So it was. It was, Do you ever see like niggas now, like, like, like young niggas coming up, like, damn, they got even, they doing it better than me. Like, them niggas hard. Like, I wish yeah. I would have. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I you, feel, I feel like that. You feel like if you had more support from your parents, like, you would have did some difference for us music shit. Um, I feel like, I mean, I feel like everything happened for a reason. So I feel like, you know, what I'm saying, my parents, they did the best they could with what they had. You mm -hmm. feel me? I feel like it didn't really. I feel like the support was. I feel like the support was always one hundred percent there when it came to that. Hell yeah! Sure. Now on Love Is Blind, he was like, "I know, I know you damaged, baby. I know you got to heal." For sure. Like nigga, that's the worst. We talk about this shit all the time. It's hard fucking with a bitch who like got got some shit, some issues because they ain't gonna yeah. ever get past that shit. For sure. You ever deal with a chick that like just wasn't like still fucked up about maybe a situation or a motherfucking nigga that kind of you know what I'm saying messed up your your chances? Yeah, for sure. But it's like. They don't like to say that off rip. They ain't gonna tell you that. For sure. They gonna let you invest your time into them for a little bit, and then they gonna tell you after that, and it's like, God damn. Hell yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> now, dog, um, um, like I said, you dropped your first, your last full project. Everything is nothing. For sure. So I got this thing where one of your the, the title of your track, give me a story about not not that song, but just a story in life. Like life goes on. When was the last time you had a situation like fuck it? Nigga. Life goes on like. That bitch played me. Fuck it. Life goes on. Like, like you know what I'm saying? A lot of a lot of people been changing up since a lot of this shit. You know, they, they say everybody can't come. Mm -hmm. Feel me? Everybody can't come to the top with you. So, as I've been elevating, you know what I'm saying? I get that feeling. You feel me? Like, life goes on. You got to just keep it moving. No matter who who, who tag along for the ride or not, you just got to keep it moving. Life goes on. Now, betrayal. When last time you feel like somebody betrayed you, dog? Shit, yesterday. <laughs> 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 shit, yesterday, you, no. you, the day before, Hell no, yeah, last week, you last week. No. <laughs> now, uh, sadly mistaken. What's something that you know? What I'm saying that you that you mistaken for? Are you are you, you know? What I'm saying you know. What I'm saying the way sometimes the way I think about people, I mm -hmm. feel like like damn, like I was really mistaken on the way I thought about you. I thought you had this potential, and you yeah. ain't showed me it. You feel me? So yeah. shit, I'm sadly mistaken. <laughs> the fuck, I thought about you. <laughs> <laughs> reminisce what's some shit that you still reminisce about now like like nigga like damn i should have did this or I did that sure. i feel like mainly i'll be reminiscing about old times like how everything changed like yeah. you feel me it gets to the point where me and my friends or me and my old friends i used to have we don't click the same because everybody moved in their own direction so sure. i'm stuck reminiscing on the times we used to share and how, when everything was all good this nigga pro cuz yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now just thug it out when we were in a situation you just like man fuck i'm gonna thug out for example like Shit, damn, I got motherfucking some news in that bitch. I got five dollars in my pocket. Fuck, I'm about to stuck it out with these motherfucking news for the whole week. Sure, sure. I remember when I ain't had no whip, my nigga. <laughs> when I ain't had no whip, my nigga. I was just stuck in that shit. <laughs> Hell no, dog. Hey, yeah. hey, you ever had to catch a bus at Bro House? Bro, I ride a bike. <laughs> yeah, Yo, you thugging out for real. A Uber, you feel me? Yeah. See, I, dog, it's crazy. I've never been to Uber before. I never caught Uber before. Like, never, like, yeah. What about Lyft? Nope. Where? Like for the first the first time I got Uber East was last like last year. Mm. Like niggas be uh, and that shit too expensive. Like, bro, is it bro compared to what it used to be, bro? Yeah. Now to catch an Uber, I remember when I went to the A yeah. to get like thirty minutes away, it was like ninety five dollars. I'm oh, like crazy. Hell no, hell no, dog. Nope. All right, the last one seventeen, bro. Tell me seventeen. What was your mind? What was you thinking? Like what was your what was your mind at seventeen? Uh, you feel me? You talking about the age or the song? The age. The age when I was thinking, I'm just thinking like one day I'm gonna really, one day I'm gonna get to the point where everybody, everybody gonna be like, damn, that nigga really took off. Hell like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was 17. I could say in certain areas I was naive, but mm -hmm. to a certain extent, like 
when I was 17, I still I still had the same drive and the same hunger I got today. For sure. Hell yeah. Hey, that ain't killed the shit, dog. Hell yeah. Like, <laughs> y'all old niggas came and do that shit. <laughs> Hell yeah. Now, oh, I forgot I forgot what song this was on, dog. But you said, I said, fuck the streets. I was going to end up either dead or in jail. Yeah, for sure. Like, like, what made you, like, just even think like that? Like, being a young nigga, like, man, I can't I can't end up like that. Um, um. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out that song number one mm -hmm. by me. You feel me? For sure. <laughs> <laughs> one of my personal favorites. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, like when I was when I was when I was thinking that, like I'm just like you know what I'm saying. I feel like I had to let everybody know because in that moment when like when I first realized that I'm like yo, it's only two paths. Like in my city, like it's only two paths you can really go. You either gonna be successful or you not. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? Like. We don't really got nobody to look up to who done made it, who come back and they pour it into the city. But yo, so I'm like, yo, either, either, like I had to say, I had to say, I had to say, fuck the streets. Like, yeah. I'm either going that direction mm -hmm. or I'm not. You feel for what sure, I'm saying? No, for, for sure, facts, facts. Hell yeah, dog. Now, what's some some young nigga shit versus some shit you been through? Even though you young, but what's some shit when you was young girl nigga that you don't agree with now? Bro, get your money. Don't be chasing these females. Yeah, hell yeah. Me, that's number one, bro. For sure, hell yeah. Niggas still out here still doing that shit. Yeah, bro, still doing Niggas that. Niggas for you out here chasing hoes. Like, nigga, Where? you broke, huh? Bro, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> Priorities. Get your motherfucking money right, dog. For real, for real. Show. But you still smash the bitch while you broke, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You probably gonna have a broke chick, though, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> when it's all said and done, man, with just not even music, bro, with just life. How you wanna be, you know what I'm saying, remember, dog? You know what I'm saying? How, how you want people to see Jay Perk? Um, I mean, like everybody life who I come into, I like to I feel like I hold like a a special like part in their life, like yeah. a special moment. For sure. Or it's like a special memory. So yeah. I would like for everybody to like remember me as like when I came into their life, they either they gained something for from it or they learned something from it. You feel what I'm sure. saying? Yeah, hey, it's a good nigga, dog. I need to go ahead and sure. call this nigga, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Making a band, bro. Back in the day they had did he had a show called Making a Band. Yeah, for sure. He had, you know what I'm saying? I think five, six people, whatever, you know what I'm saying, one album. For sure. If you had Making a Band, an album, you and four other people, who would it be? Singers, rappers, or producers. It, no matter how you want to tap into it, like No matter who it is. No matter who it is. Who, who you and four other people, bro? Back in the day, or we can do current or whatever. Let's do a current and back in the day. Let's do a current first. Where, where, four, I say, I pick pop. Okay. Oh, so it's back in the day. Then. Back to this, the back, oh, in the back day. in the day. Okay, okay. I pick pop. Yeah. You already a good nigga. If it's the same pop, nigga, you a good nigga. For sure. Because sure. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. Like, I didn't appreciate, I feel like as a young nigga, I didn't appreciate pop being as great as he is. For now, sure. Hell I yeah. feel like it was like, I feel like he was uh, like overrated, but I got older and I'm like, bro, he's the probably the greatest rapper of all time. Can't sure, nobody yeah. make you feel what he was saying. I'm for sure you can say that again. So, <laughs> but, but uh, but uh, Pac, I had to say, I want to say, ooh, I want to say, um, I probably want to put, do if I say Mob Deep, it got a it them two you, slots. You, you can go ahead and put you can put Mob Deep as one. All right, bet I'm gonna say Mob Deep for okay. show. Producers, I want to say Jay Dilla. Okay, oh, you already doing. And you're I want to say, I want to. You don't say, have to do a another producer. You can do a singer, rapper. You can do whatever. I want to say. So you got you, Mob Deep, Tupac, Jay Dillon on the beats. Who yeah. your ass spot, dog? We got to do Michael Jackson, bro. Okay, okay, hell yeah. You got to do Michael Jackson. <laughs> no, hell yeah. We got you to. You in legendary for sure. Now, bro, that's an all star. Hell yeah, for sure. Now give me some current shit. Current. You want you want for other people on some current shit, dog? Current, I sing. I gotta put little skies in there. Okay. Now I heard you say this shit. Who was who was that? That's I gotta get help, dog. That's one of my that's one of my that's one of my people I look up to. Okay, for he, sure. he, um, he he like he he he's somebody that signed. He's my ass. Yeah, I think major. He, I think he signed to Atlantic. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I think he so signed you, to Atlantic. Lil Sky. <clears throat> I had to say Lucas Cully. That's coming soon either way, so we gonna figure that out. For sure. Um We got two so far. Yeah, we got two spots left. Drake. Okay. And I had to say for the last This is gonna be crazy. Yeah. Trey songs. Okay, okay, okay. Trey, I'm surprised you said that shit, dog. For sure, bro. You fuck with Trey and shit? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. Sure. But see, and Trey songs, niggas don't know. Trey songs was the nigga who was supposed to sign Drake originally. Mm -hmm. Like, that's how I got hip to him. Like, I'm like, he was on a song with Drake, with him. And, they was on a song together. Yeah. My brother put me hip. I'm like, what the fuck? That nigga from the fucking show? Yeah. I'm like, all right, that nigga hard. That nigga hard, dog. Yeah. Hey, man, make a rap album, though, dog. I want to fuck with you. Yeah. That shit, dog. That'd be sure. interesting for sure. Hell yeah. What's something new that you want to start, dog, outside of music, bro? Um, I ain't gonna lie, like, 
I've been looking at all these mansions. I know Michigan really had had really real estate like that. Mm -hmm. I want to, like, low-key get into real estate, too, okay. for sure. For sure. Hell yeah. Hell later, yeah. Later on down the line, though, and everything. Now, do y'all need to be watching Tubi movies, like the Detroit shit, like the, the movie shit? Yeah, yeah. You don't want, you don't want to get in your at the bed, bro, or you good? Yeah, I ain't going to lie. I'll, I'll try something for sure. For sure. Hell yeah. For sure. <laughs> Motherfucker being that bitch Tubi nigga got fro, then got braids, and the same thing and shit, dog. <laughs> Little cameo or something. Hell yeah. Nah, dog, I was going to ask you this, too. I forgot to ask you earlier, but would you ever accept just being a writer for somebody? Like if you couldn't be the main the main person in the front front, and you just wanted to go ahead and just be you know what I'm saying the writer behind the niggas. Mm. Pause, damn, pause. Mm. I said behind the niggas. <laughs> I ain't mean it. I ain't mean it though. I, I look at dog. I know he was thinking that shit. Though. <laughs> 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 but yeah, would you ever be cool with not being the motherfucking you know what I'm saying the, the nigga and just being the person that is writing for these fools? Yeah, for sure. I ain't gonna lie. I'm I'm um. I'm good at playing my position until it's time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. But could you have a self for just like, all right, I'm not the artist. I'm just strictly a writer. Like, what if that's how you make your ends and what, you just what like. That's how I make my ends, then yeah. Yeah. For sure. me? Would, it, yeah. Would, would, would that be tough to be like, damn, I'm not that nigga like who they know? Like, nah, because like the older you get, you don't even want all this fame shit. Yeah, for you sure. Me? But if you can get the same amount of money without niggas knowing who you is, you can still walk the streets. Come on now. Duh, for sure. What what's some shit you would have done differently, dog, with the way you started doing this music shit? I ain't gonna lie, I feel like I feel like I would have got I would have took it more serious way quicker. Yeah. I'd have already been at already already been at this level that I'm at now. Yeah. Like two, three years ago. Hell yeah. For sure. No, for sure, dog. Hey, the thing about he don't, he, don't, he ain't hesitant nigga answering the questions and shit, bro. Sure, bro. I'm about to motherfucking show these old niggas like dog, this hey nigga. <laughs> Answer a question on my nigga Jay, man. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> now, dog, before we get to our bullshit questions and shit, dog, what's uh what's some that um, advice you would give to somebody who's just starting but afraid to really like go, you know, saying one hundred percent with this shit? I say cut out all your distractions. Yeah. Don't have no distractions. Nobody that's making you negative every day. Contemplating about Oh do I really want to do this shit or not? Or For sure. if you gotta know you gotta record that day, do it. Stay consistent. Don't. Yeah. Don't procrastinate. Stack your money. Make sure you got a consistent base of income because this shit is not cheap. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. That's why I retired, nigga, before I even started. Yeah. I retired before I even started this shit. I never... <laughs> For sure. Now, dog, we do a thing at the end, dog, called Top 3. For sure. I give you something, you give me your Top 3. So, give me your Top 3 childhood celebrity crushes. Oh, shit. It was young, dog. Who would you fucking crush on? Neil Long. Oh, yeah, you good nigga already. Lauren, For sure. Lauren Linden. Okay. Hell and yeah. Ashanti. Damn, you got nigga. Let me go shake your hand for that come shit, girl. Hell yeah, you for got sure. you a good three. That's my for three sure. shit. Come on now. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Give me your top three foods. Homemade macaroni and cheese. Oh yeah, grandma's with the arms. Hell Sweet yeah. Me. Shout out to them. Potato salad. Ho 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 ho. You the first person I ever said that they really enjoy potato salad. Oh, when the right person make it, bro. Who come making on. that shit that really got you loving it like that? My mom, bro. Man, duh. Feel me and uh, the last one I had to say tacos. Okay, taco. Okay, okay, okay. You like homemade or just Taco Bell shit? I like uh, homemade shit. Better I like taco. homemade. Uh, you can y'all can have that Taco Bell shit. Shout, shout out to Taco Bell. I love y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I love y'all. On the late nights, I still come through the drive through. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Give me your top three movies, dog. Um, top three movies, Minister Society. Okay, hell yeah, you dope. Um. Oh. Um, it was just on the tip of my the cookout. You remember that? <laughs> you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hell no. Nah, I wasn't expecting you to say that shit. Yeah, come on. Now nah, we gotta get to the nitty gritty. Hell yeah. All right, the cookout, Miss Society. What's that? What's that third spot? I probably say Night of the Living Dead. Okay, okay, okay. Give me your top three TV shows. Regular show. Okay. We we going cart cartoons. Okay, we go get back. Rick and Morty. Yeah. And then we gonna go Boondocks. Okay, hell yeah. You can't never go wrong with the Boondocks can't and never. shit, dog. Can't hell yeah, hell yeah. Give me your motherfucking top three snacks. Oh, uh, Skittles. Yeah. Huh, purple or red? Purple. Red, red. Oh, I'm purple as you did hit, dog. They did, they did. Yeah, On certain occasions. Yeah, know? for sure. They yeah. started coming out with too many different packs of Skittles. For sure, no, flavors. they did. Hell I yeah. got lost after a while. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah, so you said Skittles. Um. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh Airhead Extremes. Okay. Feel me? Reese's. All right, hell yeah. Reese's, I'll be, yeah, we'll sure. be on fire, boy. Sure. Hell yeah. Give me your top three moments in life so far, bro. When I met my manager. Okay. When 
when I took my first flight. Okay. And that whole Frank shit. <laughs> that was the top. That was the top, though. Hell yeah, that shit made you who you is. Bro, like, come on now. On that flight, you were praying your ass or was you that bro, first time? I'm not going to lie, bro. I went, I, went, I went with a little friend, you feel me? Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? She was crying like she's scaring me. Like, no, I no. ain't know what to do. Yeah. Like, Man, that's funny as hell. Top three artists, not rappers, not singers. Your, your top three artists, dog. Your favorite. Like, it don't matter what. Like, let me see. Like, I say Drake. All right, for sure. You got to say that. Got to say that. I say Lil Skies. Okay. What's that third one? Mm. The third one got to be. Shout out Baby Smooth. Baby Smooth? Baby All right. Smooth. Hell yeah, for sure, for sure. Now, dog, I forgot to even tell you this shit. We can cut this shit off if you ain't got no story. But we always end every show with a drunk moment or a hot moment, dog. You you legal age. For sure. But it got to be like, it got to be a story. It can't be like, nigga, I drank 1800, I passed out, <coughs> nigga. That's it, nigga. Like, for sure. <laughs> Kids, stay away from drugs. Don't copy what I'm saying. Don't do it. For sure. It's a high story. All right. I was 14 years old. Oh, this is super young. Yeah, this, yo, yo, this is my first time. <laughs> It was one of my old friends, you feel me? Yeah. One day, we, I'm like, yo, like, I'm saying everybody around me smoking. For sure. I'm coming from Kentwood, though. I'm coming from the nice, so I still talk proper, and I'm still, like, a little preppy. Yeah. I'm going to the city urban school, so I see everybody smoking, everybody young, you feel me? Everybody high. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, yo, like, <laughs> feel me? Like, like I want to see what that, that I feel like. For sure. So my friend knew like this dude, like he was like a like he was like a Mexican dude, like yeah. you feel me, like the the typical like like gangster, like, yeah. like tattoos all over his body, yeah. like you know what I'm saying, whatever. We go down to his crib because he like, yo, I got the plug, I got the weed, like I go down to the go down to his crib, mm. knock on his door, it's already smoky in there. My bro already there, he takes me like, yo, come. Yeah. I pull up to his crib. They cooling. It's a big, big leather sofa, like a big black leather sofa, the one that you can sink into. Like, <laughs> yeah, for sure. You know, you know. So yeah, motherfucker be worn down. Worn down. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? So you know when you when, when you smoking, you going to sink right <laughs> up. I promise you, we I I go sit on the couch. Uh, uh, the dude, the dude, like yo, what's good? You know what I'm saying? He, hold on, I gotta go grab some. So he grab, he grab, he come back with a big ass pound, like a pound bag. Yeah. Big ass pound bag and the AK. Yeah. I'm looking at him like, yo. I'm looking at this nigga like, bro, who, who you got me over? What's up, yeah? Dog, this nigga got weed and gun, nigga. He said it, he like, oh, this just in case. I said, what? Dog. I'm like, all right, cool. For sure. I ain't tripping, you feel me? Yeah. I know that I probably kind of knew what I was getting myself into, but I ain't care. Yeah. My bro just sitting there just looking at me. I'm looking at him like, yo. He pull out the weed, like, finna roll it. Yeah. Purple leaves. And I see no green. Yeah, this is my sure. first. This is my first time smoking some perp. I'm yeah. smoking perp. Damn. You already fucked up. Already messed up. Yeah. Hell I'm yeah. like, purple weed. <laughs> he get the roll in it. He roll, he roll. So, boom. I'm sitting at the end where you at. Yeah. My bro right here. And a dude who rolling up right here. He turned on Kevin Hart. He's back when Kevin Hart, like, was in prime Kevin Hart. For sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I promise you, he lit the blunt right, so he's smoking. My heart start beating. I'm like, damn. I'm like, I'm really finna smoke. I'm like, fuck. I'm like, it's really time now. My I'm 14. I'm a kid. I don't know how this shit gonna make me feel. <laughs> Boom. He passed it. My friend hit it. He straight. He don't cough. I hit that bitch just instantly. <laughs> I'm dying. Pass it back to him. I'm in my head like, I hit it. Now they gotta teach me how to smoke for yeah, real. Yeah, inhale it, gotta yeah. inhale it. Like, do what yeah. you do. I'm like, all right, cool. I will inhale it. Yeah. Mind you, <laughs> it come back to me. I'm hitting it. It go back to my friend. Now he dying now. Yeah. The dude who invited us over, he laughing at us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for Cause sure. he like, yo, y'all. Y'all yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Mind you, I start hitting the weed. It's it's spicy. It's like some exotic. Some exotics. Way before exotics was like cool to say. Yeah. Some exotics. I hit it for the last time. <laughs> Pass it down. So I'm just cooling back. I'm just sitting there. I don't even realize that I'm high. Yeah, I'm sitting there like I'm, I'm sitting there like, 
when am I when am I gonna feel some? Yeah. I asked the dude, I'm like, yo, bro, yo, weed is <laughs> the clown is weed. Bro, shit. I'm like, yo, weed is crazy. Like that yeah. instantly. Everything just went slow mo. Yeah. Kevin Hart on the TV, like, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I'm like looking at everything and I'm getting paranoid. You know, like them days where you first smoke. For sure, yeah. Your heart, heart going crazy. booming. Yeah. I'm weak now. <laughs> I'm like, start hyperventilating. I'm like, yo, I need some air. Yeah. I go to the window. I open the window. The dude like, yo, chill. He like, yo, chill. Close the window. I'm like, all right, all right, all right. I need some air. I got to run outside. My bike was by the door. I couldn't even lift my bike up to open the door. I couldn't even unlock the door. <laughs> my friend walked up and was like, bro, just walk yeah, outside. Yeah, bit. I ran full speed and I didn't even know where I was going. <laughs> I, I, I ran full speed. I ran to my friend house, bro. You feel me? Duh. This girl I was talking to at the time, bro. She grabbed me, bro. She was like, what? She was like, you high? You high? I'm like, no. I'm like, no, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Duh, but that was the craziest day, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I almost got hit by a car, all that. Duh. <laughs> this nigga say, dog. You know you got that excitement when it's coming. Your motherfucker heart pounding, bro. Bro, like. You feel me? That Duh. anticipation. Duh, that shit funny as hell, bro. God, see that that was details. That's what I tell people. I need details. You told me a couch. You sunk in that bitch. The rotation. Who's yep, on TV? Yep, yep. Nigga, niggas. Duh, that's how you gotta tell a fucking drunk or hot story, man. Sure. Disappointed like you niggas, man. I ain't had some niggas on the bitch like, yeah, man. I drunk some liquor. I got fucked up. <laughs> I don't remember shit like. Me and this nigga look like man, that ain't a fucking story. Bro, you gotta come with details, bro. We want to hear it. We want to hear the yeah, you know what the, that's it, the lead up, the middle, all yeah, that shit. It's yeah, like a yeah. motherfucking paper, nigga. You got some motherfucking your your, your thesis statement, your mm -hmm. body, mm -hmm. motherfucking mm -hmm. hypothesis, all that shit. For <laughs> nigga, sure, we need all that. Hell yeah, nigga. Yo, yeah, On the man up here, we need. Oh yeah, your thesis is last thing. I said that shit first. Your hypothesis is first. Dog. Oh yeah, for sure. Then you got your body, then you got your thesis statement. Sure. <laughs> oh, I fucked up again, didn't I? Your thesis statement is first, yeah. dog. Cause that's what it's about. <laughs> And I'm just I saying for sure. I was drinking though. That's why. I'm was. just saying for sure. Green and shit. I'm leading you in the road. Yeah, the like, yeah you the right there. <laughs> Your thesis statement at first. I'm tripping, bro. I've been out of school a long time. Yeah, you already man. know. And dog smoking weed, so that bitch kind of contact me. Nah, and shit. Man. man. No, but hey, I appreciate you coming, this motherfucking Show. dog. Appreciate you. Long ass ride, man. So. I, I, you know what I'm saying? Good stories, good shit, man. What's some shit that you want to go ahead and leave people like with your your social media? How can you follow you? All that good shit. For sure. Follow me everywhere at J A Y Y P E R K underscore everywhere. Twitter, Instagram. Yeah. Look me up on all so, so, uh, streaming platforms. You feel me on all DSPs? J Perk, sure. J A Y P E R K. For sure. Any, anything you want to leave somebody with some final words, dog? Stay in school, all that shit. You final know? words. You yeah. feel me? I know that story was entertaining, but yeah. you feel me, kids? Don't do drugs. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? For you, don't, sure. you don't know what you're going to do when you do that shit. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Focus on your dreams. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. Stay sure. focused. Fast, fast. Now, this is no disrespect, but anybody ever told you you kind of like DC Young Fly? Bro, why the fuck everybody say that shit? <laughs> everybody say that shit? I promise you. Everybody <laughs> say that shit. Everybody. Dog. And, and dog can sing too. Yeah, he can sing, though. Yeah, yeah. I was surprised when I figured that out. No, for sure. That nigga dance and do everything, though. Nigga, fucking Jamie Foster in the new era, bro. Bro, first time somebody told me that, I go on. Come yeah. looking like damn, like, dog, like dog look familiar. Bro, I'm like DC Young Fly, bro. I go yeah. on the motherfucking uh, <laughs> Google, and I look up a picture. I put that shit on. <laughs> I'm like, damn. Like, I'm like, what you the know, fuck? That's what I say, because you know a lot of niggas get mad when you say you look like another nigga, dog. Yeah. But I'm looking like, bro, I'm, this whole time till like the last 20 minutes, I'm like, bro, look like somebody I know. I'm like, this nigga, like, DC Young Fly, dog. Shout out to him, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah, his girl just passed away yesterday. Yeah, for, yeah, for sure. R.I.P., bro. That shit fucked bro. up, bro. That shit fucked up like a mother, dog. R.I.P. But no, nah, man. Hey, man. I appreciate you coming through. Appreciate sure. your manager, Jameer, for setting this up, dog. Hey, Jameer, at first, I... I was kind of like nigga not paying no attention because dog was young. I thought he was younger than what he was and shit. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? But no, shout out to you. Shout out to Grand Rapids. Shout out to the music scene, dog. For sure. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying? You get you get on and you come back, nigga. <laughs> for sure. For sure. I'm going to come back for yeah. sure. Now, shit, you got any, uh, anything else lined up? Any interviews or whatever? Any music shit? Um, Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to be out there in the A. You know what I'm saying? This month. For sure. You feel me? Um, shout out to everybody in Atlanta. I yeah. appreciate y'all from... Showing that southern hospitality because it definitely get like that. Hell yeah! Feel me? I got a project uh, lined up for next month. Okay. Um, might go on the tour for you know sure. And see how see how everything go. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hey, y'all Detroit niggas, if y'all got a podcast, tap in with, with bro, man. Tap in for sure. Get him out here. He'll come, nigga. And his homeboy gonna drive. <laughs> like, his love. homeboy, dog. Shout out to homeboy. What's your name, dog? Get, look. Iman. Iman, dog. Iman or Iman? Iman. Iman. Yeah. Oh my bad. Iman high too. <laughs> like. 
<laughs> Shout she, out to my boy Emot, man. He got, yeah. he got he got he got a project on the way too. Oh shit, hell yeah, for hell sure, yeah. Sure. I'ma definitely tap in, bro. For sure. But shit, man, hey man, shout out to everybody, episode one sixty one. Jay Perk in the building. You already know, man, voice of Detroit. Ain't no other podcast like it, man. Peace.